Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre SD V6 Autobiography Dynamic Automatic 4 wheel drive. 2015 on a 65 plate, has done 59,270 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 35.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 44.1 miles per gallon. Combined is 40.4 miles per gallon. 0-60 time of 6.8 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 306 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 151 pounds 25 and 12 months is 275 pounds. Range Rovers are the best car on the road. What more do you need to know? Only kidding. Way through water, I think up to just below the headlights there. Uh, something we're gonna need very shortly, I think, especially up here. Daytime running lights, high pressure headlamp wash. We've got front parking sensors in the bumper there. Front fogs, has the black pack, the gloss black, grill gloss black vents on the bonnet there and also on the sides of the wings it's got the five triple spoke alloys we've just had these uh, refurbed professionally refurbed as well not just kind of touched up properly done it's got new scorpion verdes all around the red brake calipers here we've got keyless entry keyless lock power folding door mirrors so just touch your thumb to the door handle the car locks as long as you've got the key on you got the key on you when you come back hand down the back there door opens mirror unfolds and that's it you you can just get in rear privacy glass it's got the full panoramic glass panel in the in the roof there the body colored door and sill protector there integrated rear tailgate spoiler and the, the wiper is hidden away up there we have a reversing camera just here oh sorry let's do this properly power open power closed tailgate nice flat load area split folding rear seats has a full-size spare wheel and tire rear parking sensors and also the twin chrome exhaust tips. Best car to drive and best car to be a passenger in too. Nice view of the road all around. These rear seats are raised slightly above the drivers and the passengers so you've, you can uh, view over the top of them. It's got the full glass panoramic sunroof as well, so it's a nice lighting area in the back here. And this, uh, the autobiography's got this lovely uh, Alcantara trim on the roof too. Really, really well finished off, perforated leather. And it, it looks like proper leather. Really, really nice in the back. You've got the uh, over mats in the back here and uh, the rear child Isofix anchor points. <laughs> rear child seat isofix anchor points <laughs> better get that right before i get the uh, won't regain onto me cup holders just just lovely it, it really is nice it's it's just you know you you could just go anywhere in the back of this now for the good bit let's go for a ride in it the uh, Range Rover key there. We do have two of them, foot on the brake. It's uh, keyless go, keyless start. So I'll put that somewhere. Um, now then, it's got uh, three position electric memory seats. There you go. As you can see, the mirrors move. You can set the steering wheel as well. So those are the, the three positions of the people that had 
the car before. But, uh, the controls are down on the side here. And let me just see there. So uh, lumbar support, just just get that right. That's it, perfect. We've got a big front centre armrest here, and these are adjustable too. Power folding door mirrors, high pressure headlamp wash. Um, just put the there you go. Electric height and reach adjustable steering wheel. We've also got. Heated seats, which on a day like today are coming very handy. Just a bit further back. And also heated steering wheel there. So that's uh, that's it, we're all, we're all set. No better car to be in on a day like today. And uh, the funny thing is that the more, the more you drive a vehicle, quite a lot of the times you, you take stuff for granted. And that's the same with a Range Rover. It's, it's just so perfect in every single way that you, you stop noticing how how good it is. Sounds like it could do with a, a new set of wipers. We've got heated front screen, heated rear screen, and, and it, is, it is brilliant. The front screen especially is absolutely fantastic. But as, as I say, what, what you, you stop noticing just how nice it is driving a Range Rover for the last uh, couple of weeks, I know what you're thinking, oh Baz, not another Mustang story, but yes, as, as it happens, it is another Mustang story. What you don't really notice is how easy these are to drive at night, how effortless they are. And in the rain, you're above the spray. But what I noticed the other night when I was going home in uh, the Mustang, what you don't get in the Range Rover is the glare off everybody's headlights or the reversing lamps because when you're down there they're virtually right in your face but here you're you're above them and it's it's quite um it, it's it, it's it was just hard to say it's just so easy and unstressful to drive a Range Rover you 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 feel like um, king or queen or, or or whatever of the road. They're just fantastic. They're the best car on the road, in my opinion. The best four-wheel drive. Just pull those mirrors out again. There you go. Put the lights on. They're on auto, but we'll have them on full. And then the rear wash white too. Look at this. I mean, it, it's two tons plus. It's just so easy to drive. And over the cattle grid, normally you go over that cattle grid and you. It's like a machine gun's gone off in the car. You go over in a Range Rover, you can't feel anything. You go over in some four wheel drives um, with low profile tyres on, and you know, it, it, it goes through you. It goes through the cameras. You, you can you can see it all, and they they're just so good. I, I like this. This has got Scorpion Verdes all round, and I love those tyres. And I think it comes down to, you know, it, it's not like they've held me on a road where no other Range Rover tyre would. I just like the sound of them. <laughs> I like the name. But this has got new ones on, so it's that's even better. It, it definitely does need wiper blades. Although this stop now, let's just see if it's only on slow. No. Perhaps it was just something on the screen. This is one thing I can't stand, it's noisy wiper blades. Here we go. 
coming to certain death corner. I mean, you'd have to wonder why anybody making a road would make it like that. <laughs> Can't have been the Romans. What did the Romans ever do for us? But the, the <laughs> you know, the, the seats are, are toasty, the steering wheel's toasty, the heater's brilliant, it's lovely and warm. The heated front screen is uh, keeping the, it, it clear, condensation off it and so on because I've been, I'm wet through, I've been stood outside photographing this car in the rain. Normally you'd get in a car and it, it'd all start misting up. But th this is just spot on and uh, it, it makes me think of my mate who, who's got an electric car who can't have his heater on because it won't, it then won't go far enough. He, he's very sparing with his wipers. And it, I was, I read a comment this morning. There's a, there's a chap on Twitter who is, uh, an EV specialist or something like that. And, and I've seen a few comments that he's made and I've, I've not liked them. Um, I think he's uh, economical with the, the, the truth in statistics. And then he made a comment this morning which really, really wound me up. And, uh, and then I started scrolling down some of the other comments. In, fa in fact, I'm going to stop and read it, but uh, I started scrolling down some of the other comments and it's, and it's basically about older guys not liking EVs and being an expert on charging stations and the, and the national grid and so on. Uh, but one of the comments said, uh, yeah, these these old guys like the sound of their diesel engines, as if as if diesel engines don't make a good noise. Nice sound. Well, they make a better sound than a, an electric car, that's for sure. But this particular one, this is a dynamic. So on the little control there, if I turn that, the car gets angry. In fact, what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop here because I'll just, I'll, I'll put it back. I'll have, to, I'll have to put my glasses on because my glasses have cameras in. And then I'll, sh I'll show you. Wait for them to uh, come on being electric, you know, they're a bit unreliable. Let's, uh, oh, right. That's, that's in, it's in park, I've touched my phone, it's in park, all right, don't, don't grass on me. Um, what was the, the, the comment? Here we are. What is it about a seemingly large cohort of men of a certain age who are irrationally angry about the very notion of electric cars? Did they all get dumped for one at secondary school or something? They all get dumped for an... I, I'm pretty sure that nobody has ever been dumped for an electric car. <laughs> but anyway, and as, as I say, you, you, start, you start going down the comments and uh, nobody can disagree anymore, can they? they? You know, if you don't agree with me, then you're wrong. That's it. And, the, the, the world's going crazy. Right, so, anyway, <laughs> back to the Range Rover. So, the little rotary control here. Let me just switch the rotary control up, or click it so it comes up. Turn it over to the, what looks like a motorway lane. You see there, 
the dashboard gets angry and then listen that's a diesel engine that sounds good i rest my case oh dear i've got irrationally angry <laughs> what's the world coming to i mean it, this is just I've taken it out of, of dynamic as well. I, I've no need for dynamic. I just love these cars. It's British, technically, and it's the best in the world. I can see, whenever I come in a normal car, these, you know, they, they made trains and so on the same size as a car and the tracks. They made Range Rovers, so you can see over. You're gonna be in the country because farmers are a lot cleverer than most people and they know what, what's good for them. They know what they need to survive and, and get you through in clement weather and, and, and hostile uh, conditions. And I, I, can see, I can see what's coming right over there because I can see over the wall. You can't in an, another car. Everybody should be driving a Range Rover. Right, anyway, again, we've got paddle shift here. There we go. We can knock the selector over and, and change up and down like so. Sorry, <laughs> it's down that way. It's nice and simple, this car. That's the other day, uh, what was I driving? Mercedes Benz. And I hit that same pothole. And honestly, I thought, I thought the wheel had, had come off. We've just gone over it in the Range Rover and it hardly felt it at all. You know, 30 miles an hour. Almost silent, except for the wiper blades. You've got electric window switches here on the right hand side and, and just... Go on Mr Pheasant, hurry up across the road. I can actually take my sunglasses off now. But I'm not just going to put them down, so I'm going to pull up. And put them away properly. There we go. A little bit more of that engine noise. Okay, you've talked me into it. So there, we're into the uh, the kind of the two lane picture. Dash has gone red. Wipers on. Absolutely superb. And let's also just check. We'll go to the menu. Driving features, trip computer, instrument display, vehicle setup. Onto vehicle setup, alarm sensors, reverse dip mirror, auto access height. Auto access height is ticked. It's a high vehicle to get up into with auto access height. When you turn the ignition off and get out of the car, or just before you get out of the car, the car goes down. Get back in the car, car's low down. Looks pretty mean when it's low down. As soon as you set off, it starts going up again, and then you get the proper, the, you know, the, the lovely suspension in the Range Rovers. I'm gonna have to turn the, oh, it's got heated and cool seats as well. If you turn the heated seat switch the other way, there you go, in fact, I'm gonna put that on for a bit, because the seat is that hot. 
So in that position, it's actually blowing cool air through the perforations in the seat. So it's great in winter and it's great in summer. Very, very comfortable car. Nice and easy, everything's nice and easy to use. Three main controls there. So there's your, your heated front screen. Touch that, that's your, your climate, shows you where you can have the uh, air going on you, like so. We'll put it on the screen as well, because it's, it's off completely. You've got rear climate control. I mean, just look at just look at the weather out there now. <laughs> it's awful. I mean, it, <laughs> this is the type of weather where somebody breaks down and, and you know on the moors and, and they get murdered. They find the body. So, Range Rovers. In films, that is, not in real life. Don't be too scared to come on the moors. There we go. We'll put the hill descent on. Hill descent on. Quick swig of coffee. Two cup holders, and what was in the other day? Was it a Merc or a Porsche? It might have been a Porsche, but two cup holders, just two big holes in your in your gear tunnel. Range Rovers. There you go. You only see the cup holders with all the gooey mess that kids usually leave in them when you when you're using it. There we go. We're in hill descent mode here. Actually, somebody was somebody was saying the other day about in the comments. Um, who was it? I'll try and remember. But they're saying that you can't sync the heater controls on a Range Rover. Well, you can if you go into climate. You see there, sync. So there you go. Switches it all on. Unsync, and then you can have either or. But well, that's the, that's the sync button. So. Uh, I'll have to go through my comments. But there you go. I've not, oops, sorry. Nothing, not touching the acceleration, not touching the brake, not pulling the handbrake on, and we're just, we're just slowly going down here. Oh. Just not hold this end off now. Knock the heated seat back on. The, the steering wheels, as I say, it's just, it's toasty. You know those, those days when you get up and you hear the, the rain lashing against your window and it's cold outside, and you go out and you think, oh God, my me, me car's going to be frozen up, I'm going to have to defrost it and I'll be freezing, I'll have to have my big coat on. I just walk out of my place, like so, jump in my car, switch it on, Heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated screen, and let it defrost. Meridian speakers. I've got to do this. All right, let me just, I'll pull over again. The Meridian speakers are fantastic. So over here, we, we've got sat nav, we've got uh, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. I'm gonna turn the lights off so this brightens up and you can see. If we go there to source, you'll see there you've got Bluetooth, iPod and so on. We want Bluetooth. And then I'll, uh, I'm just going to stop and put a, a record on and then I can only play it for a couple of seconds other, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. Now that, I, I don't want to, uh, here we go. Now down here, look at this. Right, 
bump. Yeah, do, do that, do that in your uh, Toyota Prius. <laughs> see, how, see how far you get. Right, let's let's go. Let's uh, music. We need music, 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 music. Search glory. <laughs> Fantastic record. But if we just go into here we go. Just get around this corner. Now he's not got his heated front screen switched on, otherwise it, it'd have been a it'd have been able to see who's gonna go up that embankment. Right, hang on a second. So we'll go go here. Source settings system go back here we go we're on audio settings you've got their meridian you've got bass so we'll put the bass up again and you've got subwoofer so we'll turn the subwoofer up a bit of treble and then we'll listen to that again. But I'll be more than just a babe. Brilliant stereo system. I'll, we'll let this car go by. Another swig of coffee. Here we go. And I'm going to knock it out of dynamic special programs off. Put it back. I forgot to say the service history. I need to do that quickly before my cameras overheat and switch off. What with them being electric and all that lot, lithium batteries, very unreliable. If only they made a GoPros with diesel engines, I'd, I'd buy them. Right, so, <clears throat> first one's PDI, um, second one, 3rd of the 8th, 2016 at 13,828 miles, Paragon Land Rover, 1st uh, of the 6th, 2017, 19,770 miles, Stratstone Land Rover, 11th of the 6th, 2018, 27,967 miles, Stratstone Land Rover, 28th of the 12th, 2018, 33,839 miles, Rybrook Land Rover, 12th of 12th, 2019, at 44,149 miles, Rybrook Land Rover, 2nd of 3rd, 2021, at 53,084 miles, Rybrook Land Rover. That's the service history, full, uh, full Land Rover service history, and I did hear something um, ding, they made the overheating noise and what we've been we've not been going 20 minutes it's freezing cold outside and it's overheated please gopro invent a diesel engine or a petrol engine or a hydrogen engine just not electric gone off this insta here and uh, to be honest this is a 360 camera and I, I used it in here because of the uh, roof and so on and so you could see in the back unfortunately when it overheats 
sometimes not only does it overheat and just switch off it also corrupts the footage on the card so uh, I don't know whether that's going to work but uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video ta-da